Hi everybody, my name is Patrick Mitchell and this is my 12th Kickstarter campaign. This campaign is for a 4x4x4 uh, LED cube uh, DIY set and I'll have several different awards that range from uh, assembled control boards, uh, DIY control boards with and without LEDs to create your own cube, uh, with and without a power adapter in case you have your own power adapter, and the uh, DC voltage can range from 8 to 12 volts safely it doesn't consume very much current um, again this is the prototype this is the final this is the final assembly uh, I just figured to show the uh, the prototype just for fun lots of wires uh, this is the underside of the principal circuit board as you can see there's a lot of holes here and that is because I've, I've created a little template for you to create your LED bank much easier making little rows of LEDs or full layers of 16 LEDs because each row has 16 LEDs. So now I'm going to show a demonstration and then we're going to talk more about uh, about what you'll need to do it and who this Kickstarter is really geared towards. I'm going to show this in the dark in just a minute but I'm going to talk about the LED bank uh, as it's going through its, its uh, different uh, patterns. So there's an on off switch, you've got power plugged in, a 9 volt 1 amp adapter now, um, what this again? That this uh, this campaign is geared towards uh, makers, uh, DIY fiends, soldering enthusiasts, uh, because I, again, I will be um, I will be having rewards that have fully assembled control boards. But you make the LED cube yourself. You use the template, or you use your own template. However, you want to do. You can use your own LEDs, or you can uh, you can pledge to order a reward that comes with LEDs. I'll be uh, trying to source at least three different kinds, uh, colors of LEDs that are compatible with the template. And uh, essentially, this is just a great afternoon project. It's a lot of fun to do either with you by yourself or with a family member, uh, a son, daughter, uh, nephew, niece. Uh, and really, after it's done, once it's all, once it's all, all once it's completed, it's really just an awesome thing to, to gap out to. I gap out to this all the time. I'm uh, quite happy with it. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's a great conversation starter. You can plug it in at work, at your cubicle, and people will notice it. It's just a, it's just a fun little, little gadget that you can put together yourself. Now, we'll be creating a very, very detailed uh, assembly video that will talk about how to put it together step by step, uh, and uh, as well, I'll be adding in some troubleshooting tips just in case you have some bad solder joints. I'll show you how to how to test all of the LEDs with your multimeter and how to test layers and uh, rails of LEDs simply with your multimeter. Uh, very very easy to do, fun project. Let's have a look at this in the dark. Now I'm hoping my camera can pick this up because it's looking very different. Uh, from behind my camera, my camera LCD. Um, to the human eye, this looks great, especially in the dark. Now, I'm only going to show off green, but you can make this. You can make this with your own LEDs. You can make, um, you can make uh, uh, different colored uh, LED banks, multicolored LED banks, LED banks where, sorry, cubes with, uh, you know, different rails of different colors. You can make this your own. I'm going to provide the control board and the LEDs for those of you who want that, but you can truly make this your own. And it's a really, really, truly fun project to make. Uh, and really, how the cube looks is completely up to you. There are a lot of people out there who are new to soldering, uh, you know, and, uh, and there are some people out there that are meticulous in making a perfect cube. You can take this 4x4, four four, you can take the 64 LEDs and make a much larger LED bank and use wires to connect to the control board. How you do it is is completely up to you. I'm just going to provide uh, what it takes to make uh, to make what I'm showing you right now. But you can use a control board. Um, you can use a control board however you'd like it. Uh, in any case, I'm hoping that I can convince you to uh, pledge towards this Kickstarter campaign. Uh, I'm going to be optimizing the software over the next couple weeks and ordering parts. Uh, my production schedule is in the campaign um, seen and linked below. So uh, let me just show you the uh, printed circuit board. This is the printed circuit board, bare printed circuit board. Got your uh, power supply jack, your power regulation, um, microcontroller, uh, resistor banks, uh, four NPN transistors to control the layers via these four holes, these four solder holes. Uh, you got your on off switch, uh, your template holes, which allow for you to uh, easily place LEDs in for, for uh, quick soldering. To turn in turn uh, four to sixteen LEDs into nice neat rails, uh, and these are the main solder holes for each of the sixteen LEDs. 
one per layer stacked on top of each other. So um, what I'm going to do now is I've shown you the demonstration. I'm going to uh, end my speech, say I hope that I have interested you uh, to have a look at some of the rewards. Uh, maybe you'll get your pledge, maybe not, but thanks for watching in any case up until this point. And I'm going to show you a couple pictures uh, of me moving along with the assembly process. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, regardless of whether I get a pledge or not from you, um, the Kickstarter is linked below. Thanks again, and have a wonderful day.